they will go to the farthest corners of the earth, sometimes risking their lives. They'll wait long hours, day and night, in all weather, just to capture one moment in their lens, in their effort to convey to us the wondrous beauty of nature, encompassed in one perfect shot. There is an ideology that motivates them, their desire to preserve nature and raise awareness of its importance. First and foremost, I'm a bird watcher. That's how I see myself. I feel so lucky as a photographer to live in Israel, which is like a meeting point, a crossing point for it's a highway where, where birds from Europe and Asia cross a very narrow uh, strip between the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea all the way to Africa. So every uh, month in the year we can see different species of birds. We can see millions of raptors, millions of pelicans and storks. So for anyone considering this line of work, here are some basic requirements for the job. First of all, uh, lots of patience, being able to, to suffer uh, disappointment because you have to understand that 99% of what you're going to do is going to be a complete failure. When you, you might blink for a moment and the, this moment will disappear for the next day. I had a project uh, trying to photograph a very, very rare desert tony owl in the desert and it didn't appear, it didn't show up. I had to drive uh, three hours uh, in each direction uh, for about 20 nights uh, in order to try and uh, catch a glimpse of this bird. And eventually I managed and I was so proud of it because I was the first one to do it. Patience, motivation, and an abundance of faith are not enough. It is lady luck that often makes the difference. If you respect nature, nature will uh, give you back. And if you feel that you are just coming to, to take something from nature and you create uh, damage to a bird's nest or to a mammal, you won't get uh, far with it. And uh, it creates much more damage to to nature and to nature photography. The mammals are really, really smart. And I was so lucky when I was uh, waiting for uh, vultures one day in a hide. Uh, this was like uh, 50 degrees Celsius and uh, so stinking and hot and humid that after no vulture came, uh, suddenly a pack of four wolves, Arabian wolves, just came from nowhere to smell this uh, feeding station. Some animals have a negative reputation, like the hyena or the wolf, but it's just a reputation and these animals are just looking for something to eat and they'll run away from you from kilometers. It's really, really hard to get close to these animals. With so many threats to the region's natural habitats, some are trying to find solutions. We brought the AFN, the, the Artists for Nature Foundation, uh, members which are nature artists from all over the world, the best of their uh, profession to portray the Dead Sea. We held a meeting with 400 children, Palestinian, Jordanians, uh, Bedouins and of course uh, Israeli Jews and those children were exposed to both uh, art, nature conservation and uh, children their age from all these countries together. The importance of nature conservation is a major reason some photographers are so committed to their work. But this commitment does not come without sacrifice. You know, a nature photographer uh, has, uh, has to be out of home for hours, for days and for weeks. And you need to be very persistent to have a deep uh, understanding of why you're doing it. If you do it because of uh, a deep passion for nature conservation, you might succeed. 